most people are probably used to thinking of artificial intelligence as a computer that can beat a human at chess or the like, but that's only part of the picture. In this classroom, an avatar of a robot is giving artificial intelligence a face. Her name is Amit and she comes complete with a few simple algorithms. Amit in Hebrew means companion and as part of a pilot program in Israeli kindergartens, this so-called companion is teaching kids English. She's about to be rolled out across 70 Israeli classrooms by September. The program itself, based on AI technology, is directed at Hebrew-speaking kids. But Amit doesn't teach solo. Ziggy is her English-speaking friend. Hello, Ziggy. Kindergarten is a perfect place to experiment. Virtual reality, mixed reality is going to be a big part of their lives growing up. They're going to work with robots, interact with robots. Chavad Zalet is the first Israeli kindergarten exposing its kids to the English language using this social interface. It's a really good addition because in Israel they start teaching English from third grade. So so I think it's a good base, it's a good exposure for them. Exposure is the key word here. Maytal says it's about getting their young ears used to English. It's more like baby steps before full immersion of English kicks in in third grade. Kids are coached by Amit about two to three times a week for about 20 minutes per day. So how is this robot, this avatar actually working? How's it teaching kids English? Well, the system can see the kids. <laughs> it can detect their faces, so it knows their names and can address them and then show them the activity in English yeah. and then they will try to communicate with the uh, with the Amit, the avatar, using their hands. If they want to join the party, they will raise their hands. Hello Ziggy! Hello Ziggy! Let's go to the party! Let's go to the party! And that party in the jungle is, in other words, the English language party. Born out of the idea that children learn best by interacting live with the world around them, Amit's functions, though, are quite limited. She cannot hear or respond to the kids. Because she's limited, kids have to uh, be very social to find solutions uh, with each other. What may not be entirely regulated is how kids go about practicing English amongst themselves because Amit does not give solutions to grammar and pronunciation errors if there are any. Mixed reality and AI in Israeli classrooms might have a fair way to go to match the likes of Japan, China, Hong Kong, Finland and Germany's physical robot teachers and mature voice interaction technology. So for now it's good news for human teachers due to limitations in these technologies. I think technology will play a very significant part but in my view we can not entirely get rid of the kindergarten teacher, books and games. We want to educate for independent learning, for independent learners. Even if that means something between a kid and a machine in a limited, controlled, responsible space. Sarah Shalala for I24 News, Tel Aviv.